Hey guys, how are you doing? What do you guys say about my new idea? I think I'm gonna do that. You like it? Yeah, I'm gonna do. Oh my god. Good idea, huh? Alright, just a joke. Uh, these are my boss's tires, so don't tell him I play with them. Um, anyway, so last time when uh, Sheptaj was here, uh, I didn't have too much time to look properly on those gaps, and now I just put everything together again, so I can see there was an issue here with uh, this gap, and there still is, so I want to look and see what is going on there. So that's the goal of today. Now Sheftash is not here, so I can work normally. Last time I had to push and uh, work like crazy so I can give him enough patches to weld. And let me tell you something about him. Don't tell anyone. I think Sheftash got all this fame from starring in my channel in his head, so now he's like, I think he's going crazy. Anyways, free labor. Who's gonna reject that? I like it. <laughs> Alright, so this is my concern. You see how the gap in front of the door and behind the seal is bigger than what it is supposed to be. And uh, it's not that much bigger, but it bothers me a lot. I can't live with that. So, uh, looks like the seal needs to go a little bit further back, right? Like probably one eighth of an inch or three sixteenths maximum. But the problem is over there, I don't have any room, absolutely no room, it is right where it's supposed to be. And yes, I was thinking of trimming it, but here, at the end of the seal, there is a little bevel, a very nice bevel that I want to keep. So I don't want to trim the seal, that's out of uh, discussion. So. If I want to move it back, the only option is to cut this, to trim, to cut this, shorten it, and weld it a little bit further back. So maybe that's what's going to happen. But also here, you see, this is sticking further out than the wheel arch, and that's normal, of course. Also, another thing I noticed here, this flange needs to be behind the seal, so I have to move it, but that's gonna happen after I finalize the seal position. So, even here, this is showing me that the seal needs to go further back. Because I measured on the old seal, here to here, and this seal, they match perfectly, so the problem is not in the seal, the problem is in the position. So, let me open the bonnet and I'll show you something else now. Okay. Also here, I have this notch that limits me to where the position of the seal goes. I can't move it back and forth because of this notch. But yes, I can cut it. I can widen the notch and I can move it a little bit. And then this is also something that is uh, limiting me, but I can deal with that, I can strengthen it, straighten it a little bit. So, yeah, if I want to do that, I will have to do that, <laughs> right? So, like I said, if I want to move the seal back, I will need to cut this here, move it back and weld it again, which I don't really understand why this is happening, but it is happening, so I will have to do it. But now I'm thinking of something else. Let's see how this fits.
Hmm. Now even this transition piece is hitting the seal here. Okay, that can be trimmed too, but something weird is happening here. Probably I'm gonna have to trim this as well. Ah, why is this happening now? But anyways, that's... I'm, I'm not gonna do that now. I just wanted to see what's going on. Now what I have to do though, is this here. I made a mistake. This piece of the floor, I think I put it a little bit further out last time uh, for some reason and uh, that, I that is now holding the seal a little bit further out like this way and it cannot line with this so if if this goes like quarter inch in then this will go quarter inch in and of course because it's on an angle it's gonna go higher and when it goes higher it's gonna line up well with the floor it's not all the way to the front it's somewhere here to the end it's not so noticeable but you know uh, a little over here a little over there and then at the end the whole car is wonky and uh, wavy and I don't know so I prefer to do it the proper way because even when you look at the seal from an angle here at some point you start seeing the flange there but you don't see it there I don't know if you can see that on camera but you know on a certain angle you have to start seeing it all the way and actually you see first the right side and then you start seeing the left side I don't know how well that shows on camera and I hope what I'm saying makes sense but yeah that's what's happening so I'm gonna deal with that now okay so this is what I'm talking about here this is uh, like sticking like one eighth of an inch or a little bit more out of the inner seal but going this way it is widening a lot I don't know how did I manage to do that but that pushes the seal and the bottom of the rear fender out and I don't like that it's not so noticeable as I said but I don't like it so what I think I'm gonna do is the following That's my idea, I don't know if you like it, but that's what I think I'm gonna do. So, here's the piece that I cut from here last time. And this is the piece that I cut to start rebuilding this piece. And I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna make myself a flange for here and here made the same piece as this one new one and then I'm just gonna weld it back there that's what I'm gonna do alright so I made myself a flange so this has to come here like that and then we need a flange this way ok so we need to start shrinking this more but okay so now we just have to match the angle
Mm -hmm. Do they look alike? Uh, maybe. Wow, I have to make those holes now here. And this one here. Oh, I don't have to? Oh, great. Okay, so let's see if we can put that where it belongs. So, this is where this thing was. Like that. So now we have to replace it with this thing. Like that. But before, before we replace it, we have to rebuild this part here. And I mean rebuild or at least cut because when I have this here, I'm not gonna be able to make this horizontal cut here. So I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna do this cut. I'm gonna rebuild this piece, which which actually is the same piece. It needs this and this needs to be need to be one piece coming this way to here. You see now if I didn't move the floor before, this wasn't gonna line up here to come this way. So now I can cut this all the way here. Yeah. And this hole, by the way, we were debating what was this hole for on the other side. Well, on the other side it wasn't used, but on this side this is the hole through which the wiring harness goes. So it's very simple. This hole is here for the wiring harness and on the other side it's there for the wiring harnesses in the UK. They just made the seals uh, universal for both sides. So that's why we have this hole here and that's why it has this flange so it doesn't hurt the wires. Right, so now I'm just gonna shorten the floor to where it needs to be. And now I can weld this piece where it, it, where it goes. And then from there I'm gonna have to extend it and go to somewhere here. Right? I'm gonna weld it from outside so I can grind it and make it look nice because for Mr. Tash the inside is the most important part because he's working on his uh, engine bay but for me here the outside is the important part so I'm gonna line it up outside and I don't care too much what's going on inside so bear with me All right, so let's see now if we can make a piece for you. So hello from the other side. Right, I'll go find a piece of metal. All right, so I just wanted to show you here because I didn't uh, show you before how much of a difference there is now that I moved the floor by quarter inch further in now this goes lines up perfectly remember before it was like that so quarter inch in but more than quarter inch up all right so i'm gonna remove the seal now i just put it on for the night because i went home apparently and it's another day today so i'm gonna take the seal out again and we're gonna start rebuilding this from here that way i painted inside because when I weld this piece I'm not gonna have access anymore and I made this patch which believe it or not turned out to be a very complicated shape it took me more than an hour to come up with this I tried with one piece tried with one piece even shrinked it here I played a lot and it didn't work so uh, finally I decided to make it from uh, pieces in three different pieces and finally it somewhat worked. I don't know why. 
I don't know why I couldn't make this out of one piece of sheet metal, but yeah, my metal shaping skills are not that good yet, but I'm getting there. So now I can weld this here, I just need to paint the back first. I can weld this here and then probably I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna have to drill a hole here. When, when it's welded I'm gonna drill it from inside out and then I'm gonna put a grommet on the hole and um, then I'm gonna start running the piece for the strengthener piece but I'm not gonna make it too long I think I'm gonna make just piece from here to here so it comes out of the under the fender so then I can start rebuilding the fender and this here I'm gonna leave for later the rest of the uh, strengthener piece I know who can weld that for me Alright, so this there is patched. I extended also the strengthener piece to come out of the fender. So tomorrow I'm gonna start rebuilding the fender down and I'm gonna worry about the strengthener piece uh, later. Um, and here I made this piece because that's sorry, because that's still part of the A post it needs the a post actually finishes here right here so i made this here to finish it but i'm not gonna weld it now i'm just gonna paint it and i'm gonna leave it for later I mean for tomorrow i guess because i'm um, i want to go home now we we went out for lunch today with the colleagues here at the shop it was our christmas party we went to Mandarin, which if you don't know, this is a restaurant with all you can eat, so I ate a lot. <laughs> and uh, I don't feel like working too much anymore today, so I'm gonna come tomorrow and continue from where I stopped. So that's it for today, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna be here tomorrow and we will continue doing what we're doing. So thanks for watching and See you tomorrow, I guess. Bye.